Hey there, Nick Jatak is here. In this video, we're gonna go over how to configure Vim to show the search count in its status bar. So I've got this little demo text set up over here, which by the way, is a grammatically correct sentence in English. We'll take a look at the wiki in a second here. But let's say that I was doing a search here for Buffalo. And let me hide myself so we can see what's happening here. In the bottom right, we can see that we're on match two of eight. And if I hit N to next through this one, we can see that go to three, four, five, six, etc., until it wraps around all the way through. But this option actually isn't enabled by default with Vim, at least not the version I'm, that I'm using here, which is 8.2. And we can enable this by disabling a certain flag in short mess, which is some option that we're going to take a look at here in a second here. So if we look at the help menu for this one, uh, we can see down here near the bottom here, there is a capital S that says do not search show count message when searching. And this option is enabled by default with them, meaning it's not going to show the matches here like one through five. So we need to basically just disable this or remove that capital S from that option. And then we are good to go. So if I take a look here at my vimrc file here and go back to uh, short mess here, and by the way, now we can actually see that there's two matches here. And if I filter through them, we can see them. Uh, I'm going to put myself back here. So, uh, you know, I'm going to be covering that one. But yeah, in this case, all we had to do here was this line here where short mess, we're just removing that one flag here. And if you also happen to have short mess already configured by adding another flag here, you can see that you can just duplicate these options. One of them is adding a new flag. The other one is removing it. So you are good to go. But yeah, that's basically the short version of this video. Now we can actually see some matches there, which is quite nice. This came up from a recent use case where I was writing a blog post and I was just curious how many times I repeated a certain word here. And I realized that, huh, you know, Vim was not showing me that information by default, but now it is. And I've already commit this up to my dot files. I'll leave a link to that one in the description if you just want to take a look. But yeah, that's a really only one option that we need to set here. Now, there is this uh, one Wikipedia entry here for the eight Buffalo English sentence. There's no way we're going to go over that in this video because I don't understand it. You know, any sentence that requires uh, a parse tree and diagrams and about like 35,000 paragraphs here is a little bit above my pay grade. But yeah, English is definitely an interesting language. I thought this was a little bit of a fun aside. Uh, feel free to check this one out. And if you can actually explain this one in the comments below, better than the Wikipedia page, uh, let us know for sure because that would be very much appreciated. So if you liked the video, please give a thumbs up. It really does help a lot. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.